Rise and shine, ladies! My name is Senior Drill Instructor Dwight T. Barnes. The first and last words I want to hear out of your stinking holes is, Sir, do I make myself clear? Sir, sir yes, yes, sir! sir. My goal is simple. As of right now, you are all maggots. You will not speak until spoken to. You will not sleep unless told to do so. When I ask you to jump, you will reply with how high. Do you get me? Sir, sir yes, yes sir. sir. Is that you, John Wayne? Is this me? What's your name, dirtbag? Sound off like you got a pair. Adrian Shepard, sir! Looks more like Corporal Dog Meat to me. Seems your name was mysteriously bumped to the top of the advanced training list. My suggestion to you is to get your ass down to the training center and report to Drill Instructor Sharp ASAP. Now move it, Corporal. Sir, yes, sir! Where are you from, soldier? Texas! Holy cow! You know what comes from Texas, don't you? Only steers and queers come from Texas. Boy. You had better square yourself away, maggot. I smell smoke, and where there's smoke, there's fire. You better move it, soldier. Oh, he's pissed because I'm hanging around. But I want to see him chew out the rest of the grunts. These are all just barracks. Got it. One, two, three, four. You call that a push up? Yeah, this was, um, a much more unique take on the hazard course. This is a restricted area, soldier. Oh, opposing force is so much better. I guess restricted. Also restricted, probably. All right, maggot, listen up. I don't care what your previous outfit was like, but around here we do things my way. Follow my instructions carefully, and by the end of the day, I'll have you eating danger and crapping victory. Now, sir, yes, sir. Soldier, I will meet you on the other side in the armory. Sit on the wall below me, you will see a PCB. This is a powered combat vest. Use it correctly and I guarantee it will save your life. Your PCB is able to recharge from battery power, or it can interface and recharge with commercial, military, and HEV charging stations. So put it on, then I take it. For? Grab that PCB and get it fully charged! Trust me, Maggot, you're gonna need it! I'll meet you in the next area to demonstrate some of your best capabilities! Oh, you gotta love the PCV. Yeah, we already fully charged it, we don't need the batteries. What is this, Starship Troopers? MEDIC! Pick up the pace, dirtbag! My beloved core does not have the pace! 
stations to wait around for your worthless butt. Hoorah! The following areas will simulate many of the environmental hazards you are likely to encounter in the field. Run through it as quickly as you can and try to avoid taking too much damage. A dead marine is a worthless marine. I will see you up ahead if you can make it through alive. Sir, yes, sir! In addition to providing protection, your BCV has other capabilities. Once the light goes out, the door in front of you will open. Activate your night vision goggles to navigate this maze and exit on the other side. Now move like you've got a purpose! Now, the upshot of night vision is it illuminates a much wider area than the classic flashlight. But the distance which is illuminated is a bit shorter. Oh, be damned! You may just have what it takes to be a soldier! Now double time it over to the next portion of your training! You touching me, dirtbag! Sir! To the next area. Come on, double time it! Move, move, move! Let's see if you can climb faster than you can run! Ready? Very good! Maybe there's hope for you yet! Now, wanna come up here and try to knock me off? You can definitely climb better than you can run! Now let's see if you can use these ropes for more than just simple climbing! Jump! Catch that rope and use your momentum to swing across this might take more coordination than you have, soldier! I want you to swing from rope to rope and meet me at the end of the course! I'm almost impressed, soldier! Meet me in the next section and let's see if I can shake you up a bit! Sir, yes sir! Do I get a gun this time? That'd be a nice change of pace. Your 
weapon is your best friend. It is your only friend. And to be more effective soldier, you must master your weapon. On the table, you will see your standard issue sidearm. Pick it up and step over to the pistol range. The object of this exercise is to familiarize yourself with the functions and use of your weapon. The goal is for you to place six shots within the inner circle of each target. You may begin! Proceed to the next section of the training course. Oh, thanks, oh, yeah, instead of a Glock, we get a Deagle for a pistol. This exercise will train you in the use of a long-range sniper rifle. Proceed to the table, pick up the sniper rifle, and position yourself on the firing line. In this exercise, you will be firing at targets both moving and stationary at medium, long, and extreme ranges. As you will notice, your sniper rifle comes equipped with a scope. Use this scope to magnify your view, making the distant targets easier to see. At the distance, you will notice three stationary targets partially concealed. Hit each of these targets to advance to the next stage of targets. Let's see how you do with simple moving targets at that range, soldier. Very good. Now let's see if you can hit the moving targets at long range. Make sure to take your time and line up those shots, soldier. Make sure to take careful aim, soldier. Patience is key for those crucial shots. Oh, God damn it. Losing my touch. Not bad, not bad at all, soldier. Now let's see if you can do the same at extreme range. Unbelievable! You can actually shoot! I'd actually consider letting you cover my ass in a firefight! I'm finished with you, soldier! Proceed to the next area and report to the next drill instructor! Of course, they're just gonna take my gun again. Thanks, Corporal! Alright, dirtbag! You've proven yourself a capable crook! Now let's see if there's any leadership qualities in that sorry carcass of yours. To become an effective leader, you must familiarize yourself with the skill set of each soldier in your platoon. The first type of soldier you will meet is the engineer. Engineers have a knack for getting you in and out of places that are otherwise inaccessible. Take charge and have him follow you to the sealed door. Yes, sir. Stand back, Corporal. This should only take a minute. <laughs> he lights the blowtorch with a cigarette. Oh. Breach! As you can see, this soldier may prove quite useful in the field. Once you've breached the room, proceed through the door and beat the next type of soldier. The medic can be one of the most valued soldiers on the field. They have the ability to heal both you and your fellow squad members. To receive medical attention, simply hold down your use key and the medic will apply 
by first aid. Once the medic has attended to your wounds, proceed to the next area to complete your training. I sing a bit. <laughs> In the course of your missions, you may not be in direct contact with your squad. In these situations, you will need to utilize any available military radios. These radios can be used to call in reinforcements or gain vital military intelligence. Approach the radio and use it, soldier! I hear you loud and clear. I will to your position. Congratulations, soldier! You're no longer a low-life maggot! I'm proud to say you are a soldier! I'm sure you'll be a credit to your unit! Now report to duty, soldier! Ah, oh, there we go. And we're tackling it on hard again. Purely for the bragging rights. From surface tension. Yeah, I'm gonna be pissed too when I gotta search out and rescue your sorry ass. Anyone out there got a good view of the LZ yet? Negative gear seven. I can see some activity out there, but uh, I can't tell what it is. Hey, sir, I think Jackson has got the hot boy. Okay, Excuse listen up, now. people. We have an extremely hostile situation. Oh, holy shit, two three down, two three down. Now let's go out of there. So let's One keep this hot. Looks like we're going in hot. Yeah, hell of a welcome. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, you've woken up. Corporal Shepard, is it? I've read the tag on your uniform. I'm glad to see my life-saving efforts weren't in vain. I can't say the same for him. I'm afraid you have been through a serious accident. Most of your friends didn't make it. I was hoping that you soldiers had come to rescue us, but now it seems we are all in the same situation. I think I saw a radio near the crash site where I found you. Perhaps you can go there and radio for help? Hey man, you're just lucky that we didn't try to kill you. So I am, at the moment, completely unarmed. Do you recall? 
calling is those with emergency. These crab creatures have a unique parasitic strategy, don't you think? Have you ever seen such a magnificent species? These crabs can completely control their host's nervous system. Can you imagine what the next stage of mutation looks like? I'd really rather not. Well, at least now I'm armored. <laughs> Although with no charge. I mean, you you all, dear viewers, are probably coming right off of my Blue Shift LP, and I think I've stressed how important having at least some armor is in classic Half-Life. Why not use the door? No! Anything interesting in here? Anything usable? Attention, attention, my team require in terror maintenance chamber. Attention require in sector twenty seven. Oh man, do you smell that? Without a weapon, I can't even kill him for one. All right, let's go. You mind? Okay, Shepard, I see you found your power vest. That should keep you safe out there. See, now I've heard rumors that you troops may not actually be here to rescue us. Just don't forget about us out there. All righty? Okay, I'll let you through now. <laughs> like I said. Believe it or not, I was a wuss in high school. I know it's hard to believe. Yeah. Real hard. Good luck, sir. There we go. No crowbar, but it does the job just as well. Can I get over that, or do I need to, like, refocus a laser or something? Certainly try getting over it. Nope. So, let's make some, uh, adjustments to the laser. Oh yeah, I love using the, the wrench with, like, the wind-up alt fire. Just one-tap these things instead of having to hit them with five, you know... Ah. Splat. Oh, that is so satisfying. Because it jibs them, too. It doesn't just kill them. Oh. Fuckhead crabs. G-Man! You turn up everywhere. Yeah, there's no, uh, happy HEV suit in Opposing Force because we're a real man! We don't need no computer lady telling us what's what! Really use more batteries.
Oh, that's death. Make that. Uh, not entirely. I'm busting out platforming this early on. Suppose it's not too bad. Ah. Now, my understanding of the combat knife compared to the wrench is that you get higher DPS or something with this, but most people prefer the wrench, you know, once it's spooled up for a big swing because it hits harder. Well, I guess we're going this way. Why are there so many dead marines and no guns? I'm a trained combat soldier. I got nothing to shoot. I have a suspicion that trying to jump over the currently electrified plane probably not a good ow. Yep, just touching the fence. Ow. It seems to be lightly damaging. Maybe I'm just put oh no, hang on. Aha! Supposed to go this way. Come on, jump at me. One, two. So, the knife is hitting twice as hard as the crowbar. Because the crowbar takes five hits. So, we already... You can see that we have more powerful weapon options. And that's one of the things about Blue Shift that everybody likes, is the fact that you don't feel like a scientist who's against the odds. You feel like you actually have a handle on things, even if it's just a, a bit of an illusion... Do not touch the fence. I did warn him. Okay, in this sort of environment, it might be better to just have like a reeled up. Okay, sure. Oh. Oh jeez, that like hit for half my health. Our difficulty without without a PCV battery, because I lost it to that head crab. One head crab, man. This I don't think belonged to you. Black Mesa security was not equipped with these. Now, let's kill the power before we get freaking electrocuted. Ah, thank you. We will get the standard Black Mesa pistol at some point, but yes, this is replacing our our Magnum revolver. And note that I don't mean like a skin texture replacement, like using the high def pack, like I did in Blue Shift. No, this is basically the badass version of the Magnum. So laser on. We get Magnum pinpoint precision, but a slower rate of fire. Laser off. We can spam trigger much more effectively, but we lose the accuracy. It even reloads faster than the Magnum. At least I think. Oh! I don't think the Magnum killed them in one hit. This might be beefier than the Magnum. We are in hard difficulty, right? I don't... Oh, I yeah, it doesn't say, but no, I, I picked hard. The video, the video will, ju you know, verify what- And the power is out now, so we can cross! Oh, thank god, a battery. I think I- Whoa. Going for one, and I hit tilde and open the console. Hopefully that didn't gonk up my recording.